The Shantumbosaurus giganteus was a huge dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous. This dinosaur was not only huge, but it was also a living fortress that watched over its old world. Come with me as we talk about how this powerful eater changed its surroundings and how he managed to stay alive as one of the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived. Imagine that you are in the late Cretaceous and huge dinosaurs like Shantumbosaurus giganteus are all around you. Huge and impressive, this enormous herbivore dinosaur is one of the biggest dinosaurs ever found. The Shantumbosaurus was not just a dinosaur, it was a titan of its time, ruling the areas it lived in. It was up to 50 feet long and weighed about 16 tons. However, its size isn't the only interesting thing about it. Scientists are curious, did Shantumbosaurus have an effect on how other predators evolved? What did this dinosaur eat? As with its smaller cousins, did it gather in groups? Just how smart was it? The most interesting question is what kind of parents these dinosaurs were. Relax, we'll give you all the answers in this video. By answering these questions, we can learn not only about Shantumbosaurus' amazing body, but also about how it lived and behaved in the old world. If you're a dinosaur fan like me and want to know about different types of dinosaurs, subscribe to the channel right now. We're bringing you a complete video series about every type of dinosaur with the latest information. Our next video will delve into the most shocking facts about Shantumbosaurus giganteus, so stay tuned. Let's start with discovery. Shantumbosaurus giganteus was found in the late 20th century in China's Shandong province in the Wangxi group rocks from the late Cretaceous period, which is about 80 million years ago. Several partial skeletons of this huge dinosaur were used to describe it, showing how big and complex it was. It was up to 16.6 .6 meters, 54 feet, long weighed about 16 tons, 18 short tons, and had a unique head that was about 1.63 meters, 5.3 feet long. The late Cretaceous era was when Shantumbosaurus giganteus lived. It was in the Wangxi group rocks of China's Shandong Peninsula. There were many kinds of dinosaurs living in this area, and the land was very diverse. There was lots of lush growth. Shantumbosaurus lived in the same area as other famous dinosaurs, like Tarbosaurus batar, a Tyrannosaur that was smaller than Tyrannosaurus rex, and Edmontosaurus inectans, a close cousin that was known for living in groups and being found all over North America and maybe even Asia. Shantumbosaurus giganteus was a plant-eating dinosaur, which means it mostly ate plants. In the late Cretaceous time, there were a lot of different kinds of plants that it ate. It most likely ate ferns, cycads, conifers, and other low-lying plants that grew where it lived. It has about 1,500 very small grinding teeth that are very close to each other. This suggests that it was designed to break down tough plant matter into a pulp that it could eat. The Shantumbosaurus giganteus lived in groups, right? It's likely that Shantumbosaurus giganteus lived with other animals, like its smaller cousin Edmontosaurus inectans. Edmontosaurus and other dinosaurs that behaved like herders say that Shantumbosaurus may have lived in groups for a variety of reasons, such as to stay safe, find mates, and find food more quickly. This social system might have protected them from predators and made it easier for them to do things like mating rituals and raising their young in a group. Researchers have learned more about how the Shantumbosaurus giganteus grew and changed over time. According to fossils, juveniles had different body shapes than adults, which suggests that their food and behavior changed as they grew up. Learning about this dinosaur's ontogeny can help you understand how it changed as it grew from a hatchling to an adult. How did its presence affect the development of predators? One of the biggest herbivorous dinosaurs, Shantumbosaurus genigenchus, probably had a big effect on its environment. With its huge size and plant-based diet, it would have helped keep the food chain stable and varied, which would have affected plant groups and maybe even changed the landscapes where he lived. Herbivores like Shantumbosaurus may have affected the evolution of predators like Tarbosaurus batar by pushing them to have bigger bodies and stronger hunting tactics. During the late Cretaceous period, this active contact between herbivores and predators may have had a major impact on how both subgroups evolved. Was Shantungosaurus giganteus thought to be smart compared to other hadrosaurs? Shantungosaurus giganteus, along with other hadrosaurs, is thought to have been among the smarter herbivorous dinosaurs. It was thought to be smart because it has complicated social behaviors like living in groups, which show that it has some cognitive ability for coordinating and interacting with others. As for proof of parental care, fossils of similar hadrosaur species like Edmontosaurus show nesting grounds and groups protecting young animals. This suggests that Shantumbosaurus giganteus may have also used communal nesting practices and possibly provided parental care. Shantumbosaurus giganteus is a very important fossil for learning about environments in the late Cretaceous and how dinosaurs evolved. As one of the biggest hadrosaurs, it had a big impact on the way ecosystems worked, changing the kinds of plants that lived there and how predators and prey interacted with each other. A strong body and unique behavior give us important clues about the evolutionary forces that formed dinosaurs during this time. 
One of the biggest dinosaurs ever found, Shantumbosaurus jacantus, was found in the late Cretaceous Wangxi group of the Shandong Peninsula in China. Its length was up to 16.6 meters and its weight was about 16 tons. Its huge size and unique traits help us understand how dinosaurs evolved and lived in the past. Living together with predators like Tarbosaurus batar, Shantumbosaurus probably changed the way predators evolved by giving them big plant-eating targets. This huge herbivore probably changed its environment by the way it ate and behaved in groups, which shows how important it is to the ecosystem. Studies show that it might have been smart and social like other hadrosaurs. It might have also behaved like Edmontosaurus and Nectans by guiding other animals. When we learn more about dinosaurs, Shantungosaurus gigantus is a huge example of how diverse life was in the past. Want to find out more about dinosaurs and the study of the past? Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below with your questions and ideas. Use the links in the description to find more information and books to read. Help us figure out the mysteries of the past of our world.